Silver Cross, we are so fortunate to have a medical staff that stands out in every regard. They're not only experts in their chosen field of medicine, they're compassionate individuals who always put their patients first. Dr. Atul Gupta, our medical director of infection prevention, has been a constant source of calm and reassurance throughout the pandemic, guiding our organization through one of the most turbulent times in our history. Dr. Gupta recently shared why he chooses to work at Silver Cross and what makes our organization so special. Um, so um, as a physician, you know, my, my number one priority is making sure my patients get the best possible care. Um, and I know at Silver Cross that the support from the hospital, from the administration is so consistent. It doesn't happen at every hospital where um, as a physician, if I go to the administration and I say, yeah, I've, I've, I've recognized the safety issue, or I think there's a, a way we can be providing better care to patients. Um, when I do that here, the answer is always, we'll get right on it, we'll make sure it happens, and then it happens. And so just knowing that, that, that uh, my patients are going to be getting the best possible care, that the hospital has the same goals I do when it comes to patient care, and that the care my patients get will keep getting better year to year because the hospital is always improving, I mean, that's, that's what I want a physician, as, as a physician, and that's, um, that provides so much reassurance to me um, taking care of patients here. What makes Silver Cross really special is the people, for sure. It's not the, the new ORs or, or any of the other physical stuff we have here. Um, a lot of hospitals have that stuff, but the people here really are different from, from a lot of institutions. Over the last year, you know, it's really shown, you can really tell the character of an institution when it's going through a crisis. And we went through a huge crisis, of, of course, over the last 15 months or so. Um, there was nothing that we couldn't handle. It, it seemed like every time there was an issue, someone in the room would say, I'll get on that. I'll stay late. I'll make phone calls. I'll work this weekend. I'll put together a group of people. And at the next meeting, they had a solution for it. And it was just, it was just amazing to see how everybody worked together so well. And such competent, really, really bright people finding solutions. And also our medical staff, I think, did amazing. amazing. Um, I remember two specific examples. You know, there was a point where, especially at the beginning, where the ICU uh, was full and all the ventilators were being used. And we were going to use extra ventilators in a different part of the hospital. And at one of the meetings, someone said, we should talk to anesthesia and see if they'd be willing to help staff those ventilators, because they can run ventilators. And someone in the meeting said, oh, they've already come up with the schedule. They already have plans to work extra shifts so they can man those ventilators. It's already done. Yeah. I mean, and, and then. Um, Dr. Yamada, one of our uh, surgeons, you know, the surgeries were canceled at the beginning. And so he just showed up in the ICU and said, I know you guys are overwhelmed. I know you're busy. I'll put in lines. I'll do whatever I can to help. And it was, nobody asked anyone to do that stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, I think really the heart and soul of this hospital is our nursing and our CNA staff. You know, we've all been through so much um, uh, difficulty this last year with COVID restrictions. But really, you know, taking care of these incredibly sick patients is so emotionally and physically exhausting. And, you know, I, I would run on the floors and I'd ask, are you okay? And, you know, they'd say, yeah, you know, we're, 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 we're making it through. But they never let it show on the patient care. If anything, they're, they're, they were more dedicated to making sure the patients got the best care possible because there were no family visiting. They would sit in the rooms, hold their hands. They'd stay late. I was in awe of them every day. And so that's really the most inspiring thing to me. At Silver Cross, we are truly blessed to have inspiring people working in every area of our organization. And they're all focused on one thing, delivering an unrivaled experience for our patients. From our entire Silver Cross family, you are the inspiration. And we will continue to be here when you need us the most.